Cloud documents in Adobe XD enable features like easy document sharing and autosave, but they also bring some changes to your file management workflow. If you're used to accessing designs in the Adobe XD mobile app, this tutorial will show you what you need to do to continue accessing those designs going forward. Now the best way to understand these changes are to see them in action, so let's take a look together. I'm here in XD and I'd like to see some of the files I've accessed in the XD mobile app in the past. The easiest way to do that will be here in the home screen to click on Manage Links just here to the left. This will bring up a web browser which gives me access to all of my cloud files. Notice that I'm here in the Your Work area of the Creative Cloud, and by default it takes me to any of the prototypes that I might have published out and shared with others. In the past, if I wanted to access some of my Source XD designs, I did that by uploading those files to the Files directory here towards the upper left. Here within the Files area, you'll notice that I have some subdirectories. There's the files that I've used in the past, my synced files, and then any cloud documents that I might have opened and saved using the latest version of XD, Adobe XD 14. What I need to do effectively is move anything I have in the synced files area that I want to use going forward to the cloud documents area. Now the best way to do that will be directly within the XD application. I'll switch back over to the app and here in the home screen, I want to open up a local file. Now, if this home screen happens to be closed, you can always pull down on File to open. I'll click on your computer, and I'll browse my local directory until I can see the Creative Cloud Files folder. And here I see those older documents. I can click on any one of them, and then click Open to open up that file. What I want to do now is save it out as a cloud document. To do that, I'll pull down on File to Save As. And from here, instead of saving it to my local computer, I want it to be a cloud document. And I'll go ahead and adjust the name. And I'll click the Save button. What you're going to want to do is go in and repeat that process for any of the files that are still in the Creative Cloud Files area to move it to Cloud Documents. So with that all set, let's switch over to the Adobe XD mobile application. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the latest version of Adobe XD for either iOS or Android devices. I've done that here, so I'm going to click the Open button to open up the actual app. And notice that the document that I just uploaded to the Creative Cloud is actively being added to the list here. If instead of cloud documents that I've created, I'd like to see some cloud documents that were shared with me, I can also access those from the drop-down menu here towards the top. When I click on that menu item, towards the bottom I can see Cloud Docs or Shared With You Docs. If I come in and select Shared With You, I can also access all of those files. So that's about it. If you have further questions, you'll want to check the Adobe XD Help Tutorials. I'll include a link to those in the comments area below this video.